Alright, so today I'm going to start working on these little 8 inch Fos gates. I just got the new surrounds for them. Little foam surrounds. Uh, because these ones, the surrounds go bad after a while. These are about 13 years old, 14 years old. Um, yep, these are the Rockford Fosgate Punch HE series 8 inches. So they were the bottom of the line at the time. But they were. Uh, they're pretty hefty for being bottom of the line. The magnet's pretty heavy. Um, I got some uh, people telling me, oh, those are no good because they're just to the HE series. Um, you gotta get some HX2s. I already know that. I got a pair of HX212s um, doing 143 decibels. Um, so, yeah, I don't. I think I know a little bit about these, just a bit. Um, enough to do a surround install today, so we'll get to the good stuff. Um, so yeah, so the surrounds on these go bad because they're kind of cheap surrounds. Um, but you can order a kit online from a place called Simply Speakers. They have an eBay store, and they will get you some surrounds to put on your speakers. And they will provide you with uh, the adhesive and the, uh, the manual on how to do it. So, we'll get started. Um, first thing, same with uh, doing recons. You clean the basket, gotta get the surround all off there. These are coming off pretty easy. Um, and then you get the surround off the cone. You gotta be really delicate with the cone, clean it off really well. And uh, that should be all you need to do for that. So um, I'm going to get ready and get started, and we're going to see about uh, doing the next step after that. All right, so uh, I cleaned the surround off the frame here. Just using a little sandpaper and then uh, a chisel to get some of the big stuff. Just kind of worked along. And then sand it down real good, blow it off, wipe it really well with something. And then uh, for the for the new surround, the first part is putting on the cone, and to get the cone up where you need it to be, you gotta stuff some paper towels, push the cone up. You kind of want to keep the cone centered so that um, it doesn't hit on the, the pole piece, um, but it's not a big deal until you adhere to the basket. And then the next thing, once you got the cone up and everything clean, is align your surround to wherever you think is center. And then uh, once you've decided that the surround is going to fit just fine, then it's time to put a bead of glue around and then attach your surround by working it with your fingers. Um, so we'll see how that goes and I'll update you when we get there. Alright, so I'm getting the surround done on this one. Um, not the prettiest job I've ever done. I'm not really happy with that. Luckily these are going into band pass blocks. Um, I found being liberal with the glue is not the idea. Um, less is more on this. As you see right there, no glue. It's the part that sticks the best. The rest of this, it's all wet and still trying to do stuff. So I uh, kind of don't like that. I'm noticing as the glue dries, it's getting better and better. Um, I'll just keep working it. Um, but the idea is very little glue. Just a very small beater all the way around. Uh, so, but it actually doesn't look terrible. Um, but yeah, I could have done better. So, less is more. It dries pretty fast when there's not a lot of it. So, just gonna keep working on that one, and then get this one done. I'm gonna go very light on the glue and see what happens. So, um, just a warning: watch out for the glue. All right, so I let these sit overnight, and uh, the glue is finally cured. Um, I took some pieces of cardboard, and I coiled them, or wrapped them, onto right there, and put some weights on it, kind of hold them down, um, and that worked really well. So, looking at this one, this is the one I mentioned that I did way too much glue, but uh, I think at this point that's only cosmetic. Uh, it's 
it's plenty strong. Everything's adhered really well. Nothing even peels up. Um, I've looked at those. And the one I did very little glue on, same result, yet yeah, it's very pleasing to the eye. To goof up right there. But you're going to have that, I suppose. But this one looks really nice. I'm happy with this one. Um, so when you get done gluing these, I guess the next step is to kind of inspect the way you did it. Just look that nothing's coming up. See if I can't focus. Make sure nothing's coming up around there. That one's a little bit, but overall it's uh, not coming up, I don't think. These aren't going to move crazy, so uh, I think it'll be okay. So the next step is going to be, of course, um, adhering the the surrounds to the basket, and the, again, just small um, small beads of glue, kind of wipe it around. Um, you don't need a lot because then you get up, you end up with a messy looking install. So uh, I'm going to get that done. Um, make sure that you have this all sanded down and ready to go. Um, I did it beforehand, so I don't have to move the surround a lot. Um, yeah, so I'll check in when these should be done, and then we'll go from there. All right, before I do the glue, one thing I forgot to say is I would suggest pulling out your paper. You're not really going to need it at this point most of the time. Um, and then just checking so, how these um, are doing. Both moving on, going to start doing some glue. All right, so I got one glued down, and uh, I found that using these sockets kind of helped uh, keep it stuck to the basket. Um, with these foam surrounds, I'm, I guess I'm noticing that you put the glue pretty uh, evenly, thin coat, get it on there, and then uh, put some weight on it, and then just just hold your fingers on it for about 30 seconds every every section. Just give it firm holding and then move the next and move the next um, and it kinda just like soaks up the glue um, and then it will stay uh, trying to find a spot where it's not doing so well I think I got everything pretty good I felt like right here it's a little a little bit too much glue that's why but you just get some give some pressure just hold it for about 30 seconds or so and then um, let up and it should be stuck on pretty good alright so I got the uh, first one done, this was the nicer one came out cosmetically perfect I found uh, you can kinda clean, clean the uh, glue birds a little bit um, so the other one that I messed up on it's a little better but still not as nice as this one and uh, I just tested it Still a little, little wet, but uh, no, no, no weird noises. So it's basically a brand new subwoofer now. Sorry, for the uh, lights killing me here. Um, to give you a look, there's my 12s, and there's the light, so it all kind of matches pretty well now. This is going right here to replace this bulk audio probably. I do have a band pass for these. I'm going to try them in there. But first I'm going to see if this fits in my little bulk audio box. And then uh, then we'll have a complete system in the back of the Jeep. All matching subwoofers. That was kind of the goal, but we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is the little 8 inch. So I got both these subwoofers done. I um, think I'm going to make a separate video for the play of these. Um, so yeah, be looking up for that. I'll try to put a link in the description. And uh, we'll see what little punches can do. Alright guys, like, subscribe, comment. 
We're going to be seeing a little bit of this in that box and uh, some other things. All right, see you next time.